Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 12th of 2021. Well, it is titled a spiral aurora over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here is an example of an aurora and a very prominent one as well. And you can see almost a spiral shape to it. Now the aurora occurs when charged particles from our sun strike the Earth's magnetic field and are funneled around it towards the north or south magnetic poles. And that's why they're often called the northern or southern lights because they are visible at only very northerly or southerly latitudes. So you don't all often see them in equatorial regions or even middle latitudes. They're relatively rare. However, in places like Alaska and Canada and Scandinavia, very far north, you do see the aurora quite often. And you'll see them more when the sun is active. The sun goes through an 11 year cycle of activity. And right now we're coming out of the minimum. So aurora like this have been relatively rare over the past few years. But now as the sun is beginning to pick up its activity, we should start seeing more aurora. And the more there are and the more energetic, the more likely they are to be seen at lower latitudes, as they will affect the Earth's magnetic field and deform it, making them visible a little bit further south than normal. And when those particles do strike the Earth's atmosphere, and this is the very upper atmosphere, they can excite oxygen molecules, which will glow green. I'm sorry, that's oxygen atoms, which will glow green. So oxygen atoms, that's individual atoms, not like the oxygen molecules, which we breathe. When they are excited, their electrons will jump through energy levels and eventually can give off a specific green color of light. And we see this with hydrogen. Hydrogen does the same thing but gives off a red color of light. And we also see that in nebulae. Here we're seeing it within our own atmosphere. So this is just a green glow of that one specific type of light that we see that one specific wavelength. It also is a glow of the atmosphere. So it is not a cloud like the clouds down below closer to the horizon. The clouds will actually block out stars. You can see here that you can actually see stars through the aurora, at least where it's not too bright and overwhelming the brightness of the stars. So the aurora is just a glowing in the atmosphere, not an actual cloud, but will be seen to shimmer and change as those diff particles strike different molecules within the atmosphere. And they continually jump around between energy levels and for oxygen atoms giving off this very specific green glow. So we look forward to more aurora images like this over the coming years as the sun becomes more active. So that was our picture of the day for September 12th of 2021. It was titled a spiral aurora over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.